Okay, we're gonna make this quick because I have dinner in 10 minutes and I cannot wait to eat potatoes. Hi everybody, my name is Emily and I'm here to share with you what you might expect for your first yoga class. Let's say you are ready to go into public, terrifying, I know, and do strange poses that you may have never done before in front of people that you have never met before. Awesome. A yoga studio should be a non-judgmental, safe zone. Number one rule, listen to your body. Please, please, please listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Feel free to rest in child's pose or even come into a shavasana if you just need to breathe and be. And I've had people in my yoga class go into shavasana for 30 minutes straight and if that's what they need, good for them. I'm glad that they took that time for themselves. What to bring to a yoga class? A yoga mat, if you have one. If not, you might be able to borrow or rent one when you get there. You can call ahead and ask. Every studio is different. Number two, bring an open mind. So you might see things or hear things or smell things <laughs> that you've never experienced before. So there might be chanting. You might have some essential oils wafting through the air. You might hear people breathing like they're trying to sound like the ocean or they sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> this is a very specific yoga breath practice called Ujjayi breath. If you're not comfortable doing it, don't do it. Honestly, for me, for like my first three years of practicing yoga, I was so focused on keeping myself safe in my own body. I was not paying attention to doing an ujjayi breath, okay? I was just trying to keep breathing, so <laughs> do what you will with that. You might see figurines or statues of goddesses or gods or de deities. If you're not religious or you don't subscribe to Hinduism, that is totally fine. Yoga is not a religion. Yoga is a practice. Yoga is a self-study and it's very phil philosophical and you can apply it to everyday life. We're getting way off tangent here. <laughs> Long story short, yoga is not a religion. You are welcome in a yoga studio regardless of your background, current beliefs. So come in with a loving, open heart. Bring an intention to class. If this is your first yoga class, an intention might be, I am ready, I am willing, I am open-minded. There are just a few. You can also listen to the teacher. Bring water. Personally, I don't like to drink water during a class, but after class, I chug like no other. I get in my car and I'm drinking this whole thing. You're gonna get thirsty. Wear comfortable, stretchy clothes. I recommend wearing a couple of layers. Leggings for girls, I think, is great. And for guys, I would recommend like uh, just athletic shorts or, um, or joggers or whatever guys wear. <laughs> this is going great. What to leave behind. Don't put lotion on your body. <laughs> Especially if you're not using a mat that's your own. It'll make it slippery. It's hard to clean off of mats and just, just put the lotion on after. Do not bring your cell phone into class unless there's some emergency waiting for you. An emergency waiting for you? Emergencies don't wait. That's like the opposite of the definition of emergency. If there is a specific situation that you need your phone for, inform the teacher first, ask if it's okay, but honestly, turn it off, leave it outside of the room. A yoga studio is a calm, serene, sacred space that people go to to turn off the outside world, turn on the inner world, and give themselves me time. Give that to yourself too. Leave behind judgment of other people, judgment of yourself. Everyone is different and you hear this all the time but it's true. Every body is different. People have different histories of injuries. Some people have had children, some people have not. Some people work physical laborious jobs and some people sit in a chair all day and different challenges arise from different situations like that. Let go of expectations. Don't pay attention to what other people are doing. Listen to the teacher and listen to your own body. See how you feel in each pose. Don't be intimidated by 
first of all, other people, we went over that. Everyone's at a different stage. The teacher will probably use some Sanskrit words. And this is a respect to the tradition of yoga and how ancient it is. If you're totally lost, don't worry about the Sanskrit. If you don't know the names of the poses in Sanskrit, the teacher will usually either demonstrate the pose or use the English version of the pose. Don't be intimidated by the teacher. The teacher's just a person. I love when students come up to me before class or after class and ask me questions or introduce themselves and explain their situation a little bit. Everyone is on this learning journey, you know? Yoga is amazing because you can study yoga for a lifetime and still never be a master of it. So it's really beautiful that way. One last thing, teacher might offer a hands-on adjustment. So if you're not comfortable with someone touching your body, let them know beforehand and the teacher should respect that. Usually there's a point in class, at the beginning of class, where the teacher will ask, or if the teacher has never met you before, they might ask if touch is okay with you and you can tell them at that point. But don't be afraid to say no, but don't be afraid to say yes either. Did we miss anything? I hope not. Dinner's ready. I think we're done here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I would love to interact with you there. I'm glad that you are about to experience your first yoga class. Thank you for watching. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.